What's going on everyone? It's Mike on the 2-Bit Crypto channel and in this video we're taking another look at Saitama and why I think you still need to be bullish on this project. I'm going to take a look at some of the reasons why I think that. So make sure you are subscribed to this channel if you are a member of the Wolfpack and you like cryptocurrency as we continue our journey on this road. So look, let's take a look at the chart and I wanted to talk a little bit about the chart and everyone that follows my channel and that comes into the live streams know my opinion of technical analysis. I think it's a load of nonsense. But... I equally think that technical analysis or the charts can be a big emotion driver in how people feel about tokens. So we take a look at Saitama today, 1903, down 3.6%, nothing really to worry about. But we are seeing a good little bit of uh, buying momentum. We're staying above that billion dollar market cap, which is always nice. Creeping towards $6 million in daily volume, which is going up about 200 million on, um, excuse me, about 200,000 on the day. 15.4 million in liquidity, that feels like it's getting a little bit better as well. So there are some definite positive signs coming out of Saitama. Now, when you look at the chart on the hour, it does look it does look nasty. You know, let's just be honest. It does look like a really challenging chart. Here's the thing. Sometimes we get so mixed up in crypto that you live in the hour and, and that just isn't the real world. When you take a look at the buy day chart, the chart actually isn't that bad. And the last time I kind of really looked at it, I don't swing trade. I buy and I hold. And I, you know, buy into projects that I believe have got a use case. But when you look at the actual daily chart, yes, we, you know, obviously that had the huge run up here. But that, to me, doesn't feel like the worst chart in the world. And some people would say, well, yeah, you're just looking at whichever chart kind of makes sense. But it really doesn't. And I think it can drive emotion in subjects and in, to in, in tokens when you kind of completely look at the micro versus the macro. And I think when you look at the macro, it feels like, okay. for me, what am I seeing when I look at this chart? I'm seeing anticipation. I'm seeing people waiting for a use case to land. And we know that that is coming soon, or at least we believe it is. Now, what have we seen today? Well, we have seen some pretty big sell-offs. And I wanted just to cut, touch on a couple of these wallets. Now, it does feel a little bit like the olden days where Saitama just et those dips, which is always kind of nice to see. But we're going to take a look at these couple of wallets here. And they've just kind of been moving some of these uh, some money out and it's just going into stable coins and coming out completely so you know someone's maybe someone's changing circumstance maybe someone's deciding to go and do something else we know that inflation and the general cost of living is going up globally we know that there's the threat of um you know things going on over in kind of russia and stuff like that i don't want to get too much into the politics of it but you know there's a there's a reason but ultimately what does that mean for the project we saw it with shinja these big whales once they're out then you know they've got to either buy back in or move on to a different project and whales are whales for a reason they're very savvy individuals and they make very good plays but you know i see as a big whale when they're out as long as the, the dip's bought and we, we're doing the right thing then it's kind of a good thing the, this is an interesting one you know over a quarter of a million dollars uh, out of Saitama through Uniswap and kind of out of there. So a couple of really big sell-offs. Now, what have we got coming up? Well, we got this tweet from Chi around Kishimoto. And we know that's one of the tokens that you can get over on Saitama when it launches. Are you ready? We then kind of got the Saitama MK, who's the CFO of Saitama LLC. And then South End Florin, the most bizarre kind of... Uh, Twitter handle uh, at Manning the Hitman. Do you have any information on when Satamask will be back up and running? And the CFO says within a few days with a little prayer symbol. So hopefully, the optimist would say that we're going to potentially see Sata Mask back up and running. Now, the hot off the press, big news, Sandstorm will have Russ Armand on his channel tonight, 5 p.m. Eastern, which is 10 o'clock GMT for me. Now, a couple of things on this. I think this could be very, very interesting. We know that Sandstorm is, is kind of, um, as he puts it, hard hitting with his AMAs, gets to the truth. I'm sure this isn't scripted. I'm sure this is going to be a very deliberate AMA. But I think what's going to be really interesting is that I think, if anything, Sandstorm is the one that will benefit from this AMA. And he could play this very, very, very cutely, in my opinion, because if he plays it well and it's a great AMA and we really get to kind of some of the nitty gritty and some of the things on, on people's minds around Sata Mask and Saitama, it could be a brilliant AMA with lots of potential that actually this back into the community could really work. Equally, if Sandstorm just goes at him like, you know, a lunatic, then it could just turn into the worst AMA. But could we get something from Russ? It feels like a really good platform to announce something on. Now, I'm not going to start fudding and saying there's loads of like, well, not even fudding, is it? Loads of speculation because, uh, you know, that happens too often. But interestingly, I think we could see something or there might be a couple of teasers or certainly there might be a bit more committal in terms of dates. But we know that that generally kind of goes wrong. And we do obviously have the hashtag Fang Baltron there, giving it the big sexy. 
uh, the NFT platform, what we know is on the works. It feels like we've got lots of good uh, things coming for Saitama. Again, we're waiting for Saitama's to come out and really land that use case. But as I sit here now, am I worried? No, I think I'm, I, I always talk about how long-term bullish I am on Saitama. It's a long-term hold. And I think when you zoom out, as Jake Gagan always says, if in doubt, zoom out. The chart for me doesn't look that horrendous. It's not great, and we do need to see volume keep increasing. We do need to see new investors coming in. 331,000 holders, nearly 332 is good. And then I think we will start to see some momentum. Overall, the market looks like it's recovering. So look, hopefully Saitama to capitalize on the back of that. So big news, hopefully tonight, and then hopefully we'll get Saitama's card. But let me know what you think in the comments down below, guys. And guess what? I'll see you in the next video.